students myself om prakash kakte and uh, today uh, we are going to study regarding the class 11th chapter number 5 morphology in flowering plant and uh, we are discussing regarding the structure of dicotyledonous seed and monocotyledonous seed so dicot seeds and monocotyledonous seed so dicot and monocot seeds the our primary knowledge is ovule developed to seed it means the seed is mature ovule ovule developed to seed and ovary is developed to fruit it means after the maturation ovary is developed into the fruit so fruit is matured ovary and a seed is a mature ovule students so we have two type of seeds one dicotyledonous seeds which are called dicot seed and monocotyledonous seeds okay so first we are going to, uh, to discuss about structure of dicotyledonous seed and i have taken the dicotyledonous seed as a gram seed which is discussed in our uh, class 11th ncert book <coughs> dicot seed if you will see the structure the first one part of the dicot seed is seed is covered by the outer most covering so this outermost covering which covered the seed and this outermost covering which is the top layer and outermost layer of the seed it is called the seed coat seed coat is the tough and outermost covering of the seed now in dicot seed the seed coat is divided into two part outer layer of the seed coat it is called the testa it is outer layer and inner one is called the tegment so the testa is the outer layer of the seed coat and tegment is the inner layer of the seed coat and this both layer provide protection to the seed another part in the seed one part is the hilla this uh, we know that the seeds occur inside the fruits so seeds attach with the fruit so seeds attach with the fruit so that a leaf like structure which is called scale structure on the seed coat because the seed is attached to the fruit so that structure of the seed which attached to the fruit this scale like structure of the uh, seed on seed coat it is called the hilum and by this hilum seed is attached with the fruit so this structure you will see the scale are leaf like structure with lobes and this leaf like structure or scale like structure is called the hilum structure and what is the function hilum is the scale like structure by which the uh, seed attach with the fruit next part is the micropyle micropyle is the this is the opening it is the opening which occur above the hilum and this opening this is the small opening above the hilum this is called the micropyle and this micropyle help to facilitate the air and water so air and water enter inside the seed when the seed soaks the water it absorb the water then through this micropyle region the seeds gets air and water so it helps to facilitate the air and water so this opening is called the micropyle now seed contain a baby plant it means baby plant is present in the seed and this baby plant is called the embryo so embryo is present inside the seed so embryo part is present in the seed now this embryo of the dicot seed is having one embryonical axis and cotyledon so you can see here this is the complete part which is called the embryonal axis this part is embryonal axis where it is the plumule part and it is a radical after development this plumule developed into shoot and radical is developed into root so radical is having cap like structure later it is it's a protect the radical it is called the cap so it is called the root cap or cap of the radical so this plumule and radical these two parts are forming embryonal axis of the embryo and this embryo occurs inside the seed 
Another part, there are this flatted structure and this flatted both structure they store the food and these are called the cotyledon. Cotyledon when it remains green color, it synthesizes the food by the photosynthesis and thus these cotyledon are two in number. So dicotyledon see they have two cotyledon and what is the function? It stores the food. So these two parts, embryonical axis and cotyledon, these are the two parts of the uh, embryo of the dicot seed. Students are uh, in dicot, two type of seeds are observed. One seed, endospermic seed. Endosperm is the uh, one structure which is formed by the triple, uh, by the fusion, double fertilization process it is formed. So, when endosperm is present in the seed, it is called endospermic seed. Okay. So, if endosperm present in the seed is called the endospermic seed, whereas the some seeds are there which do not have the endosperm. So, these seeds are called non-endospermic seed. So, endospermic seed we should remember, we must remember castor is one example of dicot endospermic seed and gram, pea, bean, these are the non-endospermic seed. It means these seed do not contain endosperm and that's why endosperm is not mentioned in the gram seed because the gram seed is non-endospermic seed. So, this is the diagram and this information of the dicot seed. After completion of uh, dicotyledon uh, seed structure, now we are having the Another uh, we have to study that is structure of monocotyledonous seed. Monocotyledon seed. Monocotyledonous seed, there are two types also, endospermic seeds also. Endospermic seed, it means all the cereal plants like the paddy, wheat, means all these plants, seeds contain the endosperm, so they are called endospermic seed. But in monocotyledon, there is an orchid one plants the seeds are non endospermic seed. Now, the maize is generally called the grain or it is also known as the caryopsis. One seeded fruit caryopsis are grain because the fruit one of the maize is fused with the seed coat. Testa is called the seed coat. So, when seed coat, <coughs> seed coat is fused with the fruit bar, then it is commonly known as caryopsis or it is known as the gram. Now, each monocotyledon seeds, it is having the following structure. One seed coat. Seed coat is what? It is the outermost layer of the seed and this seed coat is formed by seed coat and fruit bar fusion. So, when seed coat and fruit bar is fused, then seed wall and fruit walls are fused, it is from the seed coat. So, seed coat is formed by fusion of seed wall and fruit wall or seed coat and fruit wall. This seed coat is the outer layer and in the brownish layer in the maize. Below the seed coat, the other part, this one part is called the endospermic part because this part contains the endosperm. This endospermic part, it's reserved the food, it stored the food. And endosperm two parts are also <coughs> below the seed coat region. This is the layer, and this is called alluron layer. And this is only one layer which contains the alluron protein. So alluron protein is present in the maize, and it is due to the alluron layer. So alluron layer made up of alluron protein. Other part is below the alluron protein. This one part it is called endospermic part. And this part is made up of starch substances. It is called starchy endosperm and it contains the, it provides us carbohydrate. Then third part, this one part is the endospermic part. It is the embryo part. So the embryo part and the endospermic part are separated by the one layer. And this layer, it is called the epithelial layer. So epithelial layer is present and this separate the endospermic part with the part of the embryo. Now, monocotyledon embryo, <coughs> if you will see, in monocotyledon seed, this type is the one cotyledon 
and this is the plumule and this is the radical. So if embryo of the monocotyledon you will see, it is one cotyledon, it is plumule and it is radical. So embryo of the monocotyledon, first part is scotyledon is called the scutellum. So this part, this complete part is in the scutellum, it is single lateral sealed set cotyledon. Cotyledon is known as your scutellum. So scutellum is a single cotyledon. Then second part is embryo axis. This one part, this one part is called the embryo axis. So a embryo axis contain two part. In opposite end, one end is the plumule, uh, plumule and another end is the radical. So embryo axis, plumule and radical and this plumule is here and just opposite to the plumule there is a radical. So the plumule is will this will develop into the suit and radical will develop into the root. So plumule is protected by the cover sheath and that cover sheath which cover the plumule this is called coleoptile. So cover sheath is called the coleoptile. What is coleoptile? It is the outermost cover sheath of the plumule. Whereas Radical also is having the covering. So, cover sheath of the radical is known as the coleoriza. So, coleoriza and coleoptile. Coleotype is the protective covering of the plumule and coleoriza is the protective covering of the radical. So, radical is covered by the coleoriza and plumule is covered by the coleoptile. So, these are the two parts of the embryo axis. This is the Vertical longitudinal section of the maze and this more we will see this is endosperms which is present in the maze and this is the embryo. So embryo and endosperm these are the two major part in the uh, maze seed. So outermost layer is seed coat, below seed coat there is the endosperm which stores the food, aileron layer protein is aileron and starch contain epithelium it separate the endospermic part with the embryo part and each embryo is having single cotyledon called the scutellum. Embryo axis plumule, covering of plumule is called the coleoptile and covering of radical is called the, it is coleoriza and plumule and radical they are in the opposite end. So this is all about the uh, structure of monocotyledon seed, maize seed. Thank you.